every litter that I foster, as well as my own cats, I give this probiotic to. For healthy cats and kittens, once a week is sufficient. Um, if they're sick or you're doing a deworming or they had to be on antibiotics, then read the packet that comes with it. Then I believe you can do twice a week or even more. Um, it comes with good instructions. This is basically almost a medical grade probiotic. It's a premium probiotic. You can use it for cats or dogs. I believe other animals as well. I buy it at amazon.com for a fantastic price. And I can't remember what it is at the moment, but it's great. It lasts a long time. It's a good sized amount and you do not have to refrigerate it. And um, when I did my research and looked into probiotics for humans as well, they do recommend now that you go for a probiotic that you do not have to refrigerate. So um, in all those ways, this stuff fits the bill. And I've used it to support the very fragile and high risk and critical kittens that I foster and I completely can see how much faster they recover and how well they do and I, I'm sure it's because I use this as part of my care for them. So let me show you exactly how I administer it. Uh, like I said the tube does not have to be refrigerated. If you receive it when you order it and it's very runny then you might want to put it in the fridge just for about an hour and then that will help firm it back up. It should be a little bit less thick than the consistency of toothpaste. You take a size about, you take an amount about the size of a, like a pea, a green pea, and sometimes you get really lucky and when the kitties smell it, they just want to eat it up. But lately, I think once their um, GI health is optimal, they don't really crave it or want it as badly. So they don't just gobble it up anymore. So all I do is I get the little, the little blob of probiotic and I just smear it right under their nose. And then they just have to lick it off because they can feel it there. And that's just their instinct. But I know it must taste good, must taste good normally because most of the time they want to lick it up on their own. It's not hard to administer, even if you have to rub it on like this. Just give it a little dab. There you go. Let's see if Stella Luna wants it today. No, she says, no, thank you. So I give her a little mustache of it. All right, let's see if Saginaw wants it today. Oh, <laughs> that was a little bit off center. Is she getting it? Okay. One more right there. That was three. So number four is in here. Who is that? I think that's Leela. And she says, no, thank you, but she needs it. So I give her a little tug and dab it on. And that's it. That is how you administer the probiotic. I do it once a week for the healthy cats um, and kittens, no matter what, without fail, every single week. And I never have GI upsets. It actually seems like it helps with um, fur ball barfing they never seem to have stomach issues at all, so I swear by this stuff.